Hi, this is Paul Acevedo of Windows Phone Central. Here with a video look at Imagen Plus for Windows Phone 8. This is a Sega Genesis and Sega Master System emulator for Windows Phone. Sega Genesis, of course, is also known as the Sega Mega Drive. At current, the interface is just a little bit rough, like settings or configure is down here spelled configurar, I guess in the developer's original language. Um, but there are some decent settings here. You can either stretch the image or have it run in full screen. Frame skip if you like. Enable sound and uh, choose a few different settings here. You can turn on and off six button controls which is a good thing because the Sega Genesis had a three button and a six button controller. Auto saves and um, here you can configure the controls for portrait and landscape orientation and what this means is you can actually move these buttons around and just put them wherever you want like pretty cool idea you can you know set them to your comfort then choose to save or cancel it I definitely do not want to save that and that's it for settings I would like to see more settings in the future here's a uh, the game running in portrait mode. Not the most ideal type of display, so I would recommend turning the phone around and setting it into landscape. This is Castle of Illusions starring Mickey Mouse. This was recently remade as an Xbox Live Arcade game. So we've got the overlay here going into a level. The the D-pad I'm not really crazy about its look. I would rather it would it was modeled after the real Sega Genesis D-pad. That's alright. It feels a little bit sluggish. Looks great though. You can see all the layers of the background are there. Colors look good. They're apples. Uh-oh. The emulator supports running games from your SD card or internal storage, which is cool. Although every time you want to look at the list, you have to actually select it again. Strider, also getting a remake pretty soon. Not a remake, but a sequel, I guess. Speed here feels less sluggish, a little closer to what to how I remember the game playing. Not an easy game. Obviously action games are not the most ideal things to play with virtual pads, especially if they just weren't designed for them. Sonic 2 is a very fast moving game, so this is a real measure of the emulator's quality, I think. Just a wonderful game. This is the first Sega Genesis game that I really badly wanted. Didn't own one when I was younger. So the game is moving nice and fast. And Sonic games, as I've said before, are actually pretty good on touchscreens because you only need to worry about one button. So it's not too hard to keep track of where your thumb should be. There we go. It is moving. It seems perfect to me emulation-wise. I'm not seeing any major problems. Pressing the back button, you can do a few things. You can jump into the configuration, save state, and load state. Save states are very useful in older emulated games because they often didn't support saving on their own. The emulator also plays Sega Master System games, so let's see how that goes. 
This jumped right into where I was the last time I played. Double Dragon for the Sega Master System. Oh. I forget there's no real start button on the Master System. So yeah, you can play all your Game Gear and Master System games with the same emulator. The developer did not split up that functionality when he ported the uh, original Sega emulator. Unlike MK, who did split up Game Boy and Game Boy Advance functionality in his own emulators. Of course, RPGs are really good on touchscreen phones because controls aren't such a big deal. And Fantasy Star 4 here is widely regarded as one of the best 16-bit RPGs of all time. It's right up there with the Final Fantasy games. And so you could experience Final Fantasy Star 2, 3, and 4, all for the Sega Genesis. Several other great RPGs like Shining Force. Imogen also supports Sega CD emulation. To, to play a Sega CD game, you have to get a BIOS file, and, um, and then you have to obviously install the, the games. CD games are like hundreds of megabytes large, so they will take up a lot of storage space. In my own testing, I tried to install a Sega CD game, and the app crashed both times I tried. So I'm not sure if it's a storage issue, because I'm kind of low on space. Um, and the way that you get games onto your phone, you can email them to yourself as an attachment, uh, or you can use SkyDrive. So SkyDrive, obviously, is the main way you'll want to do it. This is a good emulator. Uh, I would like to see support for screenshots, like these little images here should be screenshots, like on uh, past emulators, I think. That just looks a lot nicer. And uh, I'd like to see more settings and, you know, just a little bit of tightening up of the UI. But it is off to a great start, and I'm glad we can finally play Genesis games on our Windows phones. Thanks for watching. Read the full article at WPCentral.com.